It's a pleasure to meet you and talk about this film. First of all, you know, the experience in Abu Dhabi and filming there, how much of a joy was it? Such a joy. It's so beautiful there. I couldn't quite get my head around how beautiful the sea was and the beaches were mm. and how, you know, welcomed we were by the people there. They were so excited to have us filming this movie there. So we really felt that love and it was, it was, it was just a wonderful experience. The city becomes a character in the story as well, so how much were you infused by it? I mean, it's so spectacular. I mean, the buildings and the cars, mm. and you know, it's so, everything's just so sort of clean and like sleek, and it's, yeah, it's so cool. And you know, the, the obviously it's a completely different culture, and to mm. sort of be around that was really, you know, energizing, and it was great, I loved it. No, it was so cool. Uh, you're the treasure of the film, obviously. You're the one nobody can lose. So tell us a little bit more about Ramsey without spoiling it. <laughs> well, Ramsey's a hacker. She's, yeah. a, she's a hacktivist, is the term that people are using. She's uh, very, very good at what she does. She lives with her, her head in a computer, and um, she's, a bit, she's a bit of a genius, a tech genius. She and she knows it, and she knows that she's one of the best, if not the best, at what she does. And she's a very confident young girl, so. Very good judge of character as well. Very she good, kind of very sees intuitive. through them. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. She calls them all out a little bit. Yeah. So in hindsight, after having worked with uh, the Dominics and everybody, what does she think of each one of them? Who's her favorite, you think? <laughs> I think she, um, she's not used to working in a group mm. of people. She's definitely a loner. She's used to being by herself and kind of disappearing when she needs to because mm -hmm. uh, hacktivism isn't exactly a sort of safe line of work so <laughs> <laughs> she um, you know she's often used to disappearing and you know that kind of lifestyle so to be in this group is kind of jarring for her I think but I think she's she kind of learns to respect Tej because he has um, her a similar interest to her and he's done some pretty impressive stuff by her book so she's probably like yeah I think you're cool and but I think she Really, by the end of it, she has a lot of respect for, for Dom because, you know, he's the, the figurehead of this group mm. and there's yeah, a I'll reason why people are sticking and so loyal to him. So I think she's very intrigued by that and why that is. And, she, and I think she starts to see why yeah. and, you know, maybe considers hanging around. She gets really scared. Did you ever get scared? Or it's not like that on set. There's health and safety everywhere. Yeah, I, they, <laughs> they take pretty good care of us. I didn't get scared, but um, it was, yeah, it was pretty exciting. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. Did they teach you how to say uh, thank you in Arabic? Shukran? Shukran. I knew yeah. that. I knew that already. <sighs> so I should have just... Damn, <laughs> Any other words? Wouldn't it have been so impressive yeah. if I just went... Shukran. shukran. Yeah, like as if I just knew. Or like Shukran Habibti, which is Shukran, my dear. Thank you, my dear, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I should have done that. I shot in Morocco once and some of they speak um, Arabic there, and I learned that.